Good morning. Smile. I am Mr. Ella J. Smile. Smile. You are perched in your living room right now and get ready for the show. It's Mr. Ella J. Welcome to the Sherry Show. <laughs> You're crazy. What's this? Salsa, the world's best salsa. He said we're going to have a happy, happy day because yeah, he has salsa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about happy things today. You want to talk about that salsa and the fact that That's it's only... That's about as happy as you can get. Yeah, It's yeah. a very, very happy salsa. Made and, last uh, week. Yes. Yes. And I get to have this? Yes. Mm, I'll eat it. Let me tell you the difference in it. my daughter's cooking and her mother's cooking. My daughter knows exactly how much to put in every jar and she always nails it. Now, her mama didn't teach her to cook because her mama doesn't use a cookbook and Dawn, I don't know if she came up with this recipe. It's not too hot. It's not too mild. It is perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect and it tickles her that you like it. So Yeah, well, I don't like it. <laughs> you love I it. I love it <laughs> and I eat it a lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot. I slip it into restaurants. We've already covered that. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay, she also makes muscadine jelly and you're not much of a sugar guy. Mm -mm. But she nails muscadine jelly, y'all. If you like muscadine jelly, I'm going to be over at the cabin tomorrow and Saturday selling your t-shirts and your CDs, five for 45. So if you come by... But you're by, not talking about t-shirts. No, we're, yeah, yeah. T-shirts and <laughs> t-shirts and CDs. And we're going to have some of Don's salsa and some muscadine jelly. Because you know what winter brings? Cooking. Uh -huh, People cook uh -huh. more in the winter. Yeah. A feller might make a big pan of biscuits and eat some muscadine jelly with that butter wobbled up in it. You just ever not, do that? Just not this feller. Not this yeah, feller. Yeah, no, he yeah, don't yeah. eat biscuits. Yeah. But, but okay, let's talk about the election. Are you happy? You know, it could have been way worse. I am happy. I yes, am. Uh, yes. You know, as soon as I found out we didn't get stuck with Stacey Abrams... <laughs> Like we got stuck with another guy. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty happy. I yeah. really was. So we yeah. just got to make sure we vote now in this runoff, and maybe that'll turn out good, too. Yep. Well, you know, I told you I have a friend in Pennsylvania, and I called her, and I said, I know you're not crazy about the Republican candidate, but get in your car, drive to the polls, and vote for him. She did. Mm -hmm. What happened in Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> what happened in Pennsylvania? Holy mackerel. They elected that man. I have people that live in Pennsylvania. And in case you're watching this on YouTube, I hate it. Yeah, I, I hate, hate it. it for you. <laughs> yeah. I really do. It's weird, Look at that Ron DeSantis. Oh, my gosh. Is he not amazing? I want DeSantis for president. I want DeSantis for president. End of story. End of story. I know. He can choose whatever running mate he wants. He can run two terms. He can win. He can nail it. We not only have the smart vote, we have the Hispanic vote. I know. We can put him in there. We can nail it, y'all. So I'm excited. Little Astrid has had bad luck. And oh. Her home got, you know, mm. destroyed pretty much. But let me tell you this. She's got a, 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 a governor. That's got it going That's, on. <laughs> you got you a governor. So yeah. things are probably going to get way better. Wow. Wow. You know what happened last night on television? The Country Music Andy Awards. Andy Griffith at my house. <laughs> yeah, Andy Griffith, okay. <laughs> the Country Music Awards. But if you're my age and you were watching it, you were going, I thought this was the Country Music Awards. The only thing that even resembled a country music was a tribute to Our Lady Loretta Lynn. Sweet Loretta. Sweet Loretta. There was a beautiful tribute to her, but after that, it kind of went goofy, and and the one thing I want to listen to, and I want everybody to listen to it, because this is a song called "By Dirt." Have you heard it? No. Song of the Year, and it was. Was it on there? By Dirt. Yeah, they didn't play the whole song, but I want to listen to it because they said it's a very inspirational, very good country song. So I'm going to give it a shot, and I'm going to listen to it. But the rest of that program was not real country. It was new country. To hear me tell you, there is no country anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very all different. Sounds exactly well, it the just same. came in my ear. It is official. When the younger generation says it is woke, it is woke. Yeah. <laughs> and the younger generation. We have the just coolest said, producer in the world, folks. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. <laughs> and he Mr. Just, Trace. He said it is woke, and it is, y'all. And, and I'm and just. Team. Did you hear what Governor DeSantis said about woke in, in Florida? 
No. They don't like woke in Florida. They are done with woke in Florida. Yeah. They are not going to do it. But you know what's cool woke, about Oh, yeah. Woke comes to Florida to <laughs> die. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he said that. I love it. Yeah, Andy Griffith said that on his show. Yeah, no, he yeah. Didn't. No, <laughs> DeSantis said it. Also, Marco Rubio did great. So Florida nailed it. So if you live in Florida, we're going to have to come down there and help y'all wipe those grins off your faces because they're happy. I wish we had. Well, we got a good go. We're okay with the governor. We're great I wish with the Pennsylvania governor. had a dad blame governor like you. Yeah. For yeah. my people up there. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sad. Kind of sad. Well, tomorrow is a day in America that we remember all veterans. And um, the flag, your dad's flag, is behind us. You can see Daddy's face today. Yep. He's not all, uh, 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 what you call it, shined up. Yeah. yeah, he's not all shined up. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. And so um, a while back, I recorded something of you doing a song that I sat you down one day and said, okay, tell me your favorite song. And it was Baby Blue. And it's I my favorite one that I've done and I've written, yeah. I think there are multiple reasons, and um, it's a pretty cool song. talks about this town, talks about your dad going to war. So after yep. our commercial break, we're going to share that song. Let's do it. But let me tell you about the commercial break. We have some new stuff in the commercial break, and one of the things is the Pickens County girls basketball team that went to state and did amazingly well a little bit of highlights of that so y'all might catch I that. have a message for everyone yes what don't kill you in life makes you stronger mm -hmm. except for bears and they just kill you yes yes i saw that on your facebook today <laughs> is that funny or did what? you see a bear this morning yeah <laughs> i figured a bear is chasing bears hang the out at my house <laughs> yeah 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 i figured but that's, is that funny that's funny that's funny that's funny because yeah. bears will kill you they will when we come back can we talk about your hat because i hear it's nearly as old as my grandkids are <laughs> yeah, probably. We, yeah, we'll talk about yeah, that when we come back. Yeah, this hat speaks volumes. If you know me and you have known me, you're going to be, yeah, there's the hat. 19 what? 86. 1986. I wore this all the time when I was a young man. Uh -huh. well, yeah, way back when. Yeah, Here we go. Okay, you didn't have to, okay. <laughs> Here we all go. Right. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Here he goes. He's landing in Orlando again. <laughs> You're going to Florida, aren't you? I want to. <laughs> I mean you do. We are excited today because the election did kind of go good. We have hope for the next four years because Georgia is going to pull through. And do you know why I believe that? Do you know number 34? Do you know anything about football? Nothing, do you? <laughs> you know the answer to that Do question. you know what Herschel Walker did at the University of Georgia? He was a running back. He was like the world's fastest running guy. He's going to run to beat that other guy. Well, you just keep running, Herschel. December the 6th. December the 6th. we got to remember to go vote again. Yes. And anybody who didn't vote, shame on you. You should have voted. Did you read a little bit of the comments about when I asked people, did they watch The View? And they said, never, no, don't watch it, never watch I've it, never turn my TV it. off. I have never seen it. So that tells me that most of our viewers are watching us because they agree with our opinion. And our opinion is truly our own opinion. You are very conservative. I'm very conservative. And we agree on a lot of stuff. We don't agree on everything. You would rather ride around in a quiet car. I would rather ride around in a loud, a loud noisy wah car. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of like that I stuff. I watch Greg Gutfeld. Yes, I do too. He's funny. I wish I could be like him. But my daughter said... Every time I Daddy, start to go on do the it. show, <laughs> just this morning, don't try to be funny. Yeah. Don't try to use big words. Yeah. And don't take your hat off. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. Okay, let's let's bring up some fun. The funny thing about Washington is they thought that if they lowered the gas prices to two ninety four the week before the election, people would fall for voting for them. Uh -huh. Guess what the fuel prices are today? Three nineteen. So two days after election, yeah, they decided we'll jack it up again. So we're back to 319. How does that make your pocketbook feel? Not good. Does it make you want to go to the polls on December the 6th and vote for the red candidate? Yes, it does. Yes, I'll it be does. There. Yes, it does. How long did you stand in line to vote? Not a minute. Cool. Well, I went early, and I think I ended up being like number nine. I wanted to be number one, but I was number nine. Long line, lots of patients, lots of people. You had a line? Do it again. Oh, yeah, go we had up, like over 50. Go at 2 o'clock. Really? Well, yeah, 1 or 2 o'clock. We had about 50 people in line by the time I oh, left. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I went, like, I went at 2 o'clock up at Mountain Town, breezed right through. Wow, wow. Well, went thankful, thankful to everybody who did vote. And reminding you again, December the 6th is that election. December the 6th is also a special day here because Dr. Drake from the First Baptist Church McKaysville is going to be here with Miss Connie Davis again. We're going to have a Christmas program, and I'm excited because um, she plays the piano well, and he's going to deliver a positive Christmas message about next year. I bet you both of them vote the way I vote and the way you vote. You know they do. You know, we kind of run around with birds of a feather flock together, mm -hmm. so... And it's kind of like when I asked the question last night about The View. Do y'all watch The View? And you all said, no, never. That's good news for America. I've never seen it. That's good news. We don't need to be watching that foolishness. Now, tell me, tell folks why Baby Blue is your favorite song that you've written, because we're about to play it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I get on to you for clearing your throat. I know it, and I can't help it. It's choked to death or clear my throat. Yeah, I didn't know it needed clearing <laughs> until I started to speak. Yeah. Baby Blue is my favorite song because it talks about how Daddy went to war. It talks about Silver Chevrolet, the rock and roll would play. Just a very happy time in this fella's life. Yeah. And uh, big brown eyes, short Levi's, all, <clears throat> excuse me, all those happy times in that 66 Super Sport. Yep. With the Craig Power Play blasting. Okay, tell me why that hat is such a special thing to you. Well, the hat, I wore it forever and ever back in the day. I actually had a, had a whole lot of these. This is all I would wear, okay? Uh -huh. Big John Fogarty fan, uh, Creedence Clearwater, and uh, John is who made that all happen. And uh, do you know that John Fogarty would slip in the studio after they left and redo those guys' parts because they screwed it up? No. Oh my gosh. Is that where you learned your techniques? <laughs> okay. If he didn't, I'm not sitting here. All that you hear, that good music, it's John. He, he oh would go gosh. in and read because they didn't do it right. Oh my goodness. Ain't that something? And that's the cool thing about a studio. You can correct yeah. the problem. And they got their yeah. feelings hurt and all this, that, and the other. And they, you know. Oh, wow. How cool is what that? What are you going to do? It's either on or it's off, right? So, that sounds 19... like somebody we know, don't it? Yes, it does. 1986? Six. 19... Saw him live at the uh, Fox Theater in 1986. And I want to tell you this, too. <clears throat> Delbert McClinton opened for him that night. And, and, you know, it was when John couldn't sing any Credence songs. They, was mm -hmm. in the they were in lawsuits. And he was just doing songs that he had done since then. And, uh, boy, that Delbert McClinton lit that place on fire. There like to not have been a John Fogarty. Wow. But I love John, don't get me wrong. But Delbert was, Del, uh, Delbert was just really, really hot. How uh, much did that ticket cost then? Do you remember? <laughs> No, I don't, but it was $12. Yeah, can you probably, imagine? Can like you that? imagine? Yeah, 12 bucks for a great, great, great yeah. concert at the Fox. Me and a bunch of my buddies loaded up in a station wagon Toyota and went down there. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota? <laughs> yeah, no, when it was a Datsun, sorry, Datsun. Oh my God, Even worse. worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we was packed in there, and when we went down, we saw a good show. It was good. I just mean Delbert, Delbert was just really, really good that night. Wow, wow. And John was sort of handcuffed. He couldn't do his stuff, you know, like he was, like he needed to. Yeah, you know, we've seen a lot of lawsuits in music because, like Dolly and Porter, when they split, there was, I think she ended up giving him several million dollars. There were, yeah. there were several dollars involved. It was Saul Zantz that had, had John in a, in a, a whole strangle hole and you couldn't do anything but uh, they got that straightened out later and it, it was a good show you know who passed away from country music this this week no Jeff Cook of Alabama oh yeah yes. yeah I saw that yes yeah. wow what a, what a good guy is he guy. the one that was out of the band for the last several years well he had Parkinson's and I well, don't know they had and somebody got out oh was, I don't, don't know I don't think it was him yeah I, I don't think, think so guy. yeah but he yeah. had Parkinson's and sadly he was 73 and he passed away. And uh, is there any time in your life that Alabama music didn't influence you? Love Alabama. Love Alabama. I love Alabama. I did an Alabama Christmas in Dixie on yes, my you did. Christmas CD. I changed a word or two. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Well, right now, let's go to Baby Blue. Can we do this in honor of our veterans? Let's do it. Let's salute Absolutely. all veterans today, and today... The track that took my dad to war still stretches by the depot like so many years before. There you go. Here we are. Okay, it was on this day in 1943 that my daddy left here to go to World War II. My Uncle Emmett, his brother, walked with him from Pumpkin Center all the way downtown to watch him get on that train over at the depot and leave here for war. Emmy said he was scared to death he'd never come back home. Emmy said it was raining that evening and he said he cried when Daddy left out on the train. And then later on after that, I wrote a little song about it. It's called Baby Blue. This 
swimming pool and I rose to like you. They both are gone. I keep thinking about the summer of 1969. Long Okay, the next time you step on stage, you're going to not be playing... Lead guitar. You're going to be playing a bass guitar. A bass guitar. Is that weird for you? <clears throat> not at all. Do you <clears throat> like bass? I love playing bass. And who's going to be playing drums? It'll be Adrian Stover. And gu lead guitar? Lead guitar. We got, uh, what's his name? Spencer Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. And the uh, front man's going to be Marlon Burnett. It's going to be the Marlon. Marlon Brackett. Sorry, I did it again. Marlon Brackett. Oh, he's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, you're funny as crap. Can you believe that? No. <laughs> you said have a fun show today. Yeah, we're, having well, fun. we're having a fun show so far. <laughs> Somebody is. Anyway, it's oh, Marlon God. Brackett. It's his show. Brackett. I'm just sort of handling the whole thing for him. Yeah. And all the gear and, and the and the production and it's in a cool studio cool it's in a setting. cool place yeah, yeah the george link theater right here in lj yeah marlon's written some really good songs it's going to be a good show come on out and see us it'll be fun you get to see me play bass that's not something that happens often no and to sing backup that's I'll be not singing something. some harmony yeah. if that's harmony i'll take grits no i'm just kidding <laughs> I'll be singing harmony. Yes, I'll be on key. Yeah. <clears throat> and and uh, November 19th? November 19th at the George Link Theater. It's where the C&K used to be. Which I think is just hysterical. That was a grocery store. Yep. It was a small grocery store. Yep. No, yeah, yeah. Pretty small. It was bigger than Penland's, but yeah. Yeah, pretty small. Now... You remember when you used to go to the grocery store, and this grocery store, I remember going to the C&K, and you go up there and you tell the man how much bologna you want, mm -hmm. and he... Cut it off and weigh it out to you. Ain't that wild? If you'd gone to Butcher Holler to Loretta Lynn's old home place, there's still a
store right there in Butcher Holler where you can still buy that kind of bologna. Yeah. And you can walk up there. It was her uncle Herman's store, and his daughter was running it, and you can get that bologna sliced off and buy it just like you want Did you, you ever fry it for breakfast? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. My granny loved fried bologna, but yeah. she used that old JFG mayonnaise, and she loved that stuff. She loved it because it was cheap. Put you, and that's the put whole you thing. fried bologna in a biscuit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with a slice of mater. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be yeah. doing pretty good. You'd be doing pretty good. You'd be doing pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Some pretty people good. have been commenting to me about how they enjoy the show when Mr. Ella J is on. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel like <laughs> James Brown right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how James Brown felt, don't you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going on Soul Train, <laughs> but <laughs> listen. All right. <laughs> At the show, y'all are going to do a little tribute to one of the greats who just passed away, Jerry Lee Lewis. Yes, we will. One of the greats. We're yeah. going to do a whole lot of shaking. <clears throat> and? I think that's it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't have the set list. <laughs> uh, Marlon's handling that part, but I know that's on there. Is there somebody else that you would like to pay tribute to that you really, who's, if you said, okay, you did Hank, you did Hank Senior, you did a great tribute to him. Yeah, excuse who, me, who oh else? gosh, I'm, I'm yawning on TV. So. Who else do you like that you would really like to do a tribute? You did a jam up on Hank, so who's another one that you love? Oh gosh, there's so you, many. Charlie Pride, you do a great one with Charlie yeah, Pride. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Merle Haggard. Yeah, I probably should do a Merle Haggard tribute. You do a lot of his stuff at shows, and and I have, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, today we're going to feature a lady that you really, really love. Her, she is um, precious, precious Astrid, and we've talked about her in the past. She is down in Florida where the storms hit, and they were greatly affected by it. But we want to share because it's not too early for Christmas, so we want to share. Oh, no. it's oh time holy to get night! Started with Christmas right now. Yeah, it's it's Christmas. Now you produced. Kicking in. You produced her doing Oh Holy Night. I did. And you said she nailed it the first time. It's like she does everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. So. <laughs> yeah. So we want to share this. I told her two days before. I said you should do Oh Holy Night, and she said, Well, I'd have to brush up on it and. Two days later, she walked in, first take. Yep, yep. First take. So y'all get That's to hear it. That's the truth. It. You get to hear it, and you get to see my Christmas tree that I put up every year. I try to do something in honor of my daughter, and this is the cool, fun Christmas tree. It's got kitchen stuff all over it and chickens, and you know why? Somebody just eats chicken, and I thought, well, that'll be cute. So I put chickens what on the Christmas tree. What was that chicken tree. thing you made? Oh, chicken and Don salsa and cheeses. Yeah. I like that. If it had been done for normal people, it would have had sour cream in it, but he don't eat sour cream. And because he was on TV, and I didn't want him to spit it out in front of the I'm audience. I'm choir. <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm as choir. <laughs> As he a is $9 that. Bill. He is that. And that's choir. <laughs> choir only. That's the truth. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go to Miss Astrid doing Oh Holy Night.
Wow, beautiful. You did a pretty good job producing that. Can we give her a little credit for singing it? She's easy to work with. That girl there is She's spot amazing. on. She's, you don't have to, well, she would be showing you stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She shows me things. Yeah. And, uh, and then if she says she'll be there at seven o'clock, have everything ready to go at 6.30. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know who I've been listening to their music lately a lot, which is really weird to me because I haven't, George Strait has one song that I just love and I've listened to his CD going up and down the road, but I've been listening to Reba McIntyre and I love her. I loved her from the day she started, but she said on her 16th album, which is what they used to do, didn't do CDs or DVDs, they did albums. On her 16th album, she felt like she had finally arrived. What, when you first started in the music business, did it take you how many tries before you finally figured it out? Because she said she looked back at some of her work and thought, what was I thinking? Oh, man. You oh, know? That. I was fixing <laughs> to say, oh, well, I haven't arrived. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, if you're talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Did you make I some listen mistakes? to my music. I know you enjoy it, and I'm glad you do, and thank you for listening. But if I could do that over, <laughs> you <would. laughs> there'd be some things I'd do different. Yeah. But, but it, I won't specify. I will not. You know, yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's okay. It, it's it's what we did and when we did it, and it's good. That's it. It's all right. Well, Thank when, you for listening. When we go back to the concerts in Atlanta, when we go back to going to the Omni, when we go back to all the things we did, I like that up close, personal. I'd rather have you in a room with an acoustic guitar sitting with 40 people than to go to the Omni and climb those steps and listen to that and all the noise and yeah. all that crap, because you don't really get the music. You just yeah. don't get the music. It's the experience, but you don't get the music. Yeah, I know. So I think that was up close and personal, and that's the cool thing about the George Link, George Link Theater. It only seats, what, 160 or so? Yeah. Comfortably. So, I, think you can, I think you can push for 175, but I think that's about it. Yeah. <coughs> so I think that's such a cool venue to bring good artists. I went to see Garth Brooks and it only held 10,000 people. And I thought, yeah. I can't believe Garth Brooks is sitting here up close and personal because 10,000 to him is up that's, close and personal. Up close. And it was really cool. I remember when I was young, uh, I would pack the skating ring. I bet there, there, it would be standing room only. And I'd do shows in the auditorium uptown. It holds 618 people. I'd run them over. They'd be out in the lobby, packed full. And now I can barely pack the George Link Theater. <laughs> oh, hush now. Well, most of the people who listen have died, Dwight. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can't believe I said that. Yeah. People are dying, darn it. Dying. Well, they can still vote. Why can't they come to my show? <laughs> I know it. I know it. We could round I'll up. I'll sue. That's what I'll do. <laughs> They're You're gonna crazy. get sued, every one of you dead You're people. You're crazy. They're not coming to my show. Oh, let me tell you what. I said we was gonna have fun today, didn't we? We are. That was fun. We are. Okay, let me tell you what Tim and I did yesterday. We had some true fun. We took a drum. Oh, this ain't true fun. It was fun. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. But you're going to love the footage that we took because we took the mountains and we took it to use in a video with some of your music. I have not seen you since the last time I sat right here. I know it. So tell us what you've been doing. Well, What's I've been on? busy, busy, let busy. Let me interview for a few minutes <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. Busy. So. <laughs> busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have you been doing this week? Well, Sharon I Martin? have been Morganton, 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 and we're almost through. But yesterday, Tim and I went. Is it up cleaned to up up there? Pretty much. We're getting there. I'll do you like you do me. I'll ask you what you've been doing, and then I'll butt in while you're yeah. trying to answer. <laughs> yeah, how's that? That's good. So tell us how things are going in Morganton, Georgia these days. Morganton Point was on. Okay. Um, so is it cleaned up up there? Yeah. It yeah. was on fire yesterday <laughs> across the lake, and we have lots of footage of that because he took the drone up, and it was smoky, 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 and it was a controlled fire, and I don't know what happened to the control, but it was pretty smoky. And did they show it on the news today? No? I don't know. I watched Andy was, Griffith again. Oh my goodness. I watch Andy Griffith, I listen to the Beatles and Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and that's what I do. That's his life. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, I watch Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I Lord watch Friends every night. Yeah. Well, I want to go to a song that you like and <clears throat> you did a good job here at First, the Apple Festival. First, we didn't Festival. clear up something. Hold up. What? That place, that property up there at, at Morganton, is it getting cleaned out? Yes. It is? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, getting cleaned out. 
I'm still selling stuff and I still have two bedroom suits I would love for y'all to show up today and buy because the lady that was supposed to come day before yesterday didn't make it so I have two bedroom suits one's two hundred dollars one's one hundred and fifty I'd love for y'all to get them out of there so I can jerk the carpet up and expose the hardwood floors because I really want to expose those hardwood floors so y'all get my drift we've got some bargain stuff for sale you can and do that. You can get that up from there. Yes. And let these guys yes. sand it and yes. refinish it. Yes, and, boy, and it'll be, be so beautiful. Happy. Yes, yes. Yeah. So y'all pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590, and I'll sell you a bedroom suit a today. Warm summer's evening. What's the name of that song? <laughs> On a train bound for nowhere. What's the name of that I'm song? Doing my Kenny Rogers. <laughs> you hear the growl? <laughs> On a warm summer's evening. We're your daddy's all, we watching. Are having fun, right? Your daddy's watching. Yes, we are having fun. We're having fun. Yeah, okay. yeah, we are. Okay, we're going to have some music fun. He chose to do this song at the Apple Festival, and you could tell by your what, performance what that it? you like it. It's about knocking. You are knocking, oh, knocking, yeah. knocking, I knocking, knocking. About that song. We don't know which one of them we're going to play. So yeah. anyway, here we go. When we were at the Apple Festival, and I uh, told they were packed you, in. Baby, back in '52. Oh, really, I wasn't alive then. There you go. <laughs> Okay, that's a really sweet, soulful song, and you know. I've sung it for at least a million weddings. Yep, yep. That's it. That's it. Yep. Okay, now we're going to go back to. And um, it was a little weird. We had uh, three cameras going, the iPad going, 
And because people were on the front row, I recorded some stuff with my phone. And that's what you just saw. That's what you just saw. The iPad's going to sound a lot better because it's positioned properly. Right, right. So, but it hasn't been edited yet. So we're getting unedited raw coverage. This is what you get. And um, and it was it was a really good weekend, and we were very blessed. The Apple Festival was packed, and people loved your music, and they loved. Um, the atmosphere and they loved coming to Gilmer County and we want to remind folks Gilmer County is still open just because the leaves have fallen and when the rain comes tonight the leaves will all be gone that doesn't mean Gilmer County is going to close they're going to be opened up and all the apple houses will be open and um, you can pick up stuff year round here in Gilmer County don't give up because I the have, leaves fell I have a funny detail all right I was over on in Chatsworth at the at the foot of Fort Mountain at that marathon, and I paid for my gas. And I was coming out, and somebody pulled in out there, and they got out of the car, and they said, "You're Mr. LJ." <laughs> in Chatsworth. <laughs> yeah. And you said, "Yes, I, said, I yeah, am." Yeah, been called worse. <laughs> and they go, "We love your show." <laughs> I love it. I and love it happened it. again at Mr. P's yesterday. I love Somebody it. Somebody was coming through the drive-thru. They came through the drive-thru, and I was getting out of my car to go in and order. And they went, you're Mr. LJ. <laughs> That's funny. He's famous or infamous. I don't know which. It's that last one. <laughs> infamous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably so. But okay. it's fun. We have a good time. We have fun, and we usually get things done. We're getting I've things done this week. I've been working this week. You've been working, and I've been working in opposite directions, and I have yeah. accomplished a bunch. I have two rooms of the house completely cleaned out, and you were in there. Mm -hmm. It was wall to Gosh, wall. it was awful. It was wall to wall to wall to wall, and we're getting there, but I still need y'all's help to buy this furniture. So pick up the phone and call me. I think I'm buy buying these bedroom that. Suits. I think I'm buying that booth. I think you should. I think maybe I will. I think you should. I think it's perfect for down in the studio. Oh, the bed I bought? Yes. You painted, love it. Painted and love in my it. bedroom. Yes. I love that bed. It's a big old heavy thing and it's tall. Yes. And yes. Beautiful iron bed. Yeah. Yep. It's really in cool. my bedroom. It's not set up yet, but it will be. It will be. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we go to a song that he really liked. And it, who's the guy who does the knocking song? His name is Dave Edmonds. And is he still around? I am the bloody red baron of rock and roll trivia. I can tell you things like that. And Just don't bring Dan Westmoreland in here. <laughs> and make you look dumb. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here's a little song I, I learned it when I lived across from the red guy. Yeah, I wonder what the red dot is, I know. Back in 1973, it was the place to be. You went away and left me alone.
Okay, we're back. Quick. All right, that was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. She asked me if I want to play something live today. <laughs> I answered quickly. No, the guitar's over here. It's not right here. It is kind of weird because when you first, the first show you were here, you were over here with it, and you were over here, and you were playing, and you were playing. And um, we have a lot of that footage, and then it was kind of we went to recorded stuff, and then we went to different stuff, and then we just keep sharing stuff. And do you know how much footage we have of you singing now? As, as the old a folks bunch. used to say, I would imagine it's a right smart. <laughs> it's a right smart. But when we think about it, we've got you but and the Davis. I appreciate Davis. it. I appreciate y'all doing it. I appreciate ETC. I, I thank you for this opportunity. The Davis Brothers. It's fun. The Davis yeah, we'll Brothers. we'll get them on here, aren't we? We've got to get them back because Vic. No, both of them. Yes. Right Vic here. and Bobby. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We should do that. They are such good guys. And y'all had so much fun over in oh, the cabin. Oh, uh, on December 1st, every year forever and ever, me and the Davis Brothers, including Larry, who's, who's passed on now, and uh, we've done the, the special friends Christmas party that they have every year. We've done it forever. And Larry, of course, is gone. But guess who's stepping in this year to help us out with it? Who is? Another Davis boy. <gasps> it's going to be Bobby. He's coming over to help us do the, the special awesome. friends thing. That's and it'll awesome. be me and Vic and Bobby and Ed Forrester and, I don't know, maybe somebody else. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. That lady always calls me and says, can you line up something for our Christmas party? And mm -hmm. I go, yeah, yeah handle so. that. Of course I can, of course I can. Um, we, we all live in a world where we can give back and give back and give back and we can see a difference in lives. And uh, I, I was kind of thrown back and then honored at the same time because somebody asked me to help him register to vote. And he said, I ought to be ashamed, I've never voted, but I want to vote. And will you help me? And I thought, how cool is that? Because that's a very yeah. simple thing we can do to help the somebody. The problem we have with this voting is we have a lot of crazy people registered to vote, and they vote. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania will prove And Trace that. reminded me we have dead people who vote. Oh, yeah, dead people, yeah. 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 I don't I'll, think it's them that's yeah, doing it. Yeah. It could be, I don't know, but yep. Lord have mercy, Pennsylvania. I'll shut up about that. Let's have fun. Okay. Let's have fun. Well, yeah, it's kind yeah. of funny that yeah. they did what they did to themselves, and I, I kind of wouldn't want to be moving to Pennsylvania, but i got to give know. another shout-out to New York. New York went red with three different districts. Three. That's cool okay. for New York. Uh, I'll drop a hint. You know you know the short Levi's and the big brown eyes girl? Mm -hmm. That's my ex-girlfriend. And I'm she lives in Pennsylvania. About, she lives in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know she didn't vote for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so weird because we are in a country that is free because tomorrow is Veterans Day and because American soldiers and we know it better here than anywhere, Noah Harris. We know what happened with him. He was at the University of Georgia. He was graduating, he was excelling, he was on top of his game with everything, and because of 9-11, this kid decided to join the military. Mm. And then we know what happened. He lost yeah. his life, he gave his life, so we could have the right to vote, the right to speak our peace. And you just have to appreciate that. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, we can't give up and don't give in and not vote. So I was kind of honored when the guy said, you know, and he's in his 40s and he's never voted. And he said, I Somebody need to vote. Know? Yes, yes. Do I know him? Yes, yes. Well. Yes, but he, I'm excited. I swear, I'm to be excited. honest, I was about through voting, but I feel better now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it may have been your I'm vote not, that I'm got not, camp over the edge. Yeah, you know. You know. And I'm not hearing. Are you hearing? Was there cheating in this one? I haven't heard, I haven't anything, heard anything, about but fraud. I don't know. I think they got you know, out, I hope it's good. I hope it's all good. Cause boy. Yeah, I hope it was good. And I hope we feel better about our right to vote. And I hope yeah. that you will exercise your right to vote. And on December the 6th, if you voted in the general in this election, then you get to vote again December the 6th. And I want to remind you, nobody has to ask me how I'm going to vote. Nobody has to ask me what's my favorite color. Nobody has to ask me anything. You see this color? That's kind of my favorite color. It's called red. Yeah. <laughs> it's called red. 
But, Would uh, you just look at me, please, just look at me. How old I'm looking. <laughs> I look but so you're getting old. old. I can't. <laughs> How did that happen so fast? Look at me. Speaking of, speaking of, I, wa I looked at a picture of him on the uh, Welcome to L.A.J. when you had long hair. Okay, and I had hair. He had long hair, and he had on bell bottoms. Guess what's back in style? You've been around so long that the style is maybe, coming back. Maybe I can find some bell bottoms, but I can't help you on the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously, <laughs> you get old so fast. Look at me. Yeah, you get old so fast. I'm so old. But aren't we fortunate to have gotten old? But I'm healthy. Yeah, yeah, I do good. I do yeah, good. Yeah. I work all the time, and I do things. We got I old. I still play and sing. Got to watch what I tackle, but I can do th some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, we want to remind you, November the 19th, tickets are on sale now, and the concert is going to be at 7 o'clock. Is that correct? Starts at 7 o'clock. I found that out. Yep. We hit the stage at 7 o'clock. I'll be playing Gary D4's bass guitar. How cool. Come see me. How cool. How cool. And when we think about it, it's local and you don't have to fight Atlanta traffic to get there and you can eat locally, you can spend your money locally, and you can support the local businesses. And that's kind of what it's about. It's about keeping these tiny towns going. Yeah, I know. Keeping these tiny towns going. Okay, you've had, you've been busy, I've been busy, we've been running in 10 different directions. Have we had any studio time for Friends Favorites? Not a bit. Not okay, when bit. is that going to happen? I was telling you the other day, last time I saw you, I think a week ago or something. Uh, yeah, i got to get started on this. got to get this it going. This week I've been getting things ready to get started. I actually ordered a brand new set of studio monitors. And that costed me, so make sure you buy lots of these CDs. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and we're going to... Five we're gonna, for 45. Yeah. Yeah. And going to get started on that real soon. I'll tell you how it works, folks. This is Mr. LJ. I'm talking to you right now, okay? When the weather gets bad and I can't do anything else, you'll find me down in the studio. If it's pretty, I may be on the tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get down there real soon, and uh, it won't take long to crank that out. I'm going to record uh, three songs to add to it as bonus tracks, and uh, I think you'll like it. I'm going to remix, remaster, and have it remastered. I don't do mastering. And uh, and we'll get that out real soon. It'll be it'll be a good a good project. Take me home, country roads. Yep. Ain't it good to be back home? Yep. Smoky Mountain memories. Yep. How we'll about add that? those three? <clears throat> and those are three that are I describe them as mountain driving, mountain yes. riding songs. And it's three songs that I believe I can do a number on. I'm gonna nail them for you. Watch me. That would be cool. We'll get it done. He, Trey said you can nail him. Yeah. yeah. He said you can nail him. Yeah. Trace, can he have a raise? Because <laughs> he's really good. Yeah. In today's economy, we're just happy to have a job, Dwight. Don't ask for money. <laughs> Come on, get real. Yeah, you, you give me twice what I'm making. Are and you I'll crazy? Be fine. Well, here you get four <laughs> jars of sausage. <laughs> Oh, I know Lord. you're watching out there, baby. You won't say that. I know a bunch of my buddies. You never mention it. You never say anything, but I know you're watching. So are we having fun? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh gosh. Oh, I Lordy see maybe. you there in front of your TV. Yeah, um, I hear you knocking. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this goes home with me here in a few yes, minutes. Yes, it does. We want to remind you, Veterans Day is a day tomorrow to please pay tribute. Um, go, there's going to be an event down in Ball Ground at the new Veterans Tribute, and the parade will be live here on ETC, so don't forget that. It's going to be at 11 o'clock. They're going to be doing that. And I think even if it rains, they're going to do it. So whatever happens, I think it's still going to be an event. But again, yep. that is one of the great things about having a local television station. We can go pick up these cameras and be right down there in town in about five minutes. We can. How about that? Yeah, because we have great producers. We do, and they will yes. be there. In, they're yes. going to be covering Ball Ground, Jasper, and Ella J. And I think the LJ Parade is going to be live, and the others, they'll just do some coverage on. Yes. So it's going to be really cool, really cool. And then we go very quickly into basketball season, and I love that new commercial that Tim did because it shows the Pickens County girls at their finest. So there you go. And the tip-off tournament is a little bit of reason I was concerned about the night you have your concert up here. 
It's also the tip-off tournament. A lot of folks are into sports and a lot of folks will be sitting at the basketball game. Every single year we do the tip-off tournament and it is a big to-do. So if you like me and you know nothing about sports, yes. come see our show. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's what Dwight said. Yeah. And he said besides that, the ball game will be on ETC and you can watch it later. How Absolutely, about that? Yes. And ETC <laughs> is good folks, people. <laughs> ETC, yeah. they're neighbors serving neighbors. I mean literally, really, that's the case. Okay? And the I went to school with all these people. ETC people. I know them all. I either went to school with the ones that own it or I went, uh, they rode my bus, the people that work here. <laughs> and they're all great folks and, and we thank them. And for they're this how old? 40? Yeah. <laughs> and you okay, drove a bus go, how yeah, many years? Right. Yeah, no. 41 years. Yeah. Oh, it hurts me to yeah. think about it. Seriously, they're the best people ever. And you, you call ETC and you got a problem, you don't get a recording. Somebody picks up the phone and it's somebody that rode your bus and you talk to them. <laughs> Trey said that the tip-off tournament is also free. Is that correct? No, it, it comes on at 3 every day. Oh, it comes on at 3 every day. So at 3 o'clock, you can watch the tip-off tournament, and you don't have to miss his concert. I called ETC the other day. I had a little thing. Mm -hmm. I was actually getting a phone put in another house down there. And, uh, and uh, I said, uh, yeah, this is Dwight Sanford. And the girl said, I'd know that voice anywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, We're guys. We're just one big family. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being with us today. And remember, everything that we say and do here is done because we love these mountains. We love you folks, and we love coming into your home. Yes. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. Yes. We'll see you again Thank soon. Thank you for watching. We'll be back. On the Mr. L. J. Show. Mr. L. J. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay.